Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset your Dell Inspiron computer back to factory settings. So this tutorial will apply for other manufacturers of the Windows 10 operating system, but I did receive a specific request for the Dell Inspiron series, and since it's a pretty popular series, I believe I can help a lot of people with it. So we're going to jump right into it. We're going to start by opening up the Start menu on Windows 10, and you want to type in Recovery. Best man should say recovery. You want to left click on the recovery options underneath settings. So if there's something that says recovery right above control panel, I'm going to instead go underneath the settings option that says recovery options. You can also get to this by typing in settings or left clicking the little gear icon on the bottom left corner of the start menu once you open it up. And that will open up settings here and then you just want to go underneath the update and security tile and then recovery. That's another way to get to the screen. So we're going to go underneath where it says reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on get started here. So when it, you have the two options to keep my files or remove everything, keep your files will basically just keep some of your documents and pictures and whatnot and remove everything as, as it appears. It will do a complete refresh install of the Windows operating system. Even if you select Key My Files, I would highly recommend creating a backup of your files to a recovery media. So if you have any documents or pictures, I would recommend backing them up nonetheless. But in the event of this tutorial, I'm going to select Remove Everything. And you will get different prompts depending on which option you select. So it's going to ask you want to clean the drives too. I'm going to just select Just Remove My Files because I'm going to be keeping this PC. If you're going to be donating this PC, perhaps, I would recommend left-clicking on Remove Files and Clean the Drive. So again, personal preference here, but just for the sake of time, I'm going to select Just Remove My Files. The first option I would definitely recommend allotting at least an hour for. It can take longer or shorter depending on your computer specifications. Ready to reset this PC. Resetting will remove all personal files, at least the option I selected. Um, all apps and programs and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on this reset button. Again, this will take some time, so please be patient.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, so it looks like the computer has restored back to factory settings. At this point, I would recommend checking for any Windows updates you may have missed since the reset, because there usually are some updates, and I would recommend reinstalling any applications that might have been lost in this process. And basically, you guys are good to go at this point, at least that's what I believe. I would recommend creating a restore point as well, just for a good measure. But as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And as always, thanks for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.